When intubating with a Mac blade, we obviously want to make sure that this distal tip of the blade gets into the vollecula and that we can see an epiglottis before we lift. The other thing that we want to make sure is that we are inserting the blade on the right side of the mouth. Because in a non-plastic tongue, in a real patient, if you insert this blade in the middle, the tongue can have a tendency to flop down on the right or the left. So when we insert the blade on the right side of the mouth, it ensures that the tongue flops down on the left side of the blade and it creates a clear passage for our view and for our endotracheal tube. The other thing that I wanna say is that you should not lift up unless you see the epiglottis first. You have to be in the vollecula before you lift. So if you're lifting and you don't see an epiglottis, you've got one of two problems. Either you're not deep enough in that case, just go a little bit deeper and then lift. Or you might actually even be too deep. And so if your blade's in kind of deep and you don't see an epiglottis, simply just pull the blade back and then you should be in the vollecula and then you can lift. Um, if you do lift and see some epiglottis but no vocal cords, sometimes you can try just going into the vollecula a little bit more and then lifting. But if you're pretty well seated into the vollecula and are lifting and still can't see vocal cords, uh, you can also ask someone to give you cricoid pressure and a lot of times that can help the vocal cords come into view. The last thing that I wanna teach is that once you're in the vollecula and it's time to lift, make sure that you actually, watch my wrist here, make sure that you actually lift without bending your wrist. You don't wanna go ahead and bend your wrist back as soon as you get into the vollecula because you can uh, risk breaking the teeth.